ಹಾಯ್ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ನಾನು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಶಂಕರೇಗೌಡ ಸೊ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ವೀಡಿಯೋದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಗೇಟ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಪಿ ಜಿ ಸಿ ಇ ಟಿ ಗೇಟ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಪಿ ಜಿ ಸಿ ಇ ಟಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಾನು ಒಂದು ಕಂಪ್ಯಾರೇಟಿವ್ ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ನ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮುಂದೆ ಕೊಡ್ತೀನಿ ಆಯಿತಾ ಸೊ ಟು ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಚ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫುಲ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ಯು ಪೀಪಲ್ ಟು ಡಿಸೈಡ್ ನೌ ವೆದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಿ ಜಿ ಸಿ ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಗೇಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಈ ವೀಡಿಯೋನ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಮುದ್ದೆ ನೀವಿನ್ನೂ ನನ್ನ ಚಾನಲ್ನ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಮಾಡಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದರೆ ಆಯಿತಾ ಈಗಲೇ ನನ್ನ ಚಾನಲ್ನ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಮಾಡಾದಮೇಲೆ ಪಕ್ಕದಲ್ಲಿರೋ ಬೆಲ್ ಐಕಾನ್ನ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಆಲ್ ನೋಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ನ ಚೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಡಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಗೇಟ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಪಿ ಜಿ ಸಿ ಇ ಟಿ ನಿಮಗೆಲ್ಲ ಗೊತ್ತಿದೆ ಗೇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಜುಯೇಟ್ ಆಪ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ವೆರ್ ಆಸ್ ಪಿ ಜಿ ಸಿ ಇ ಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಜುಯೇಷನ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಎಂಟ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಏನಪ್ಪ ಇದು ಕಂಪ್ಯಾರಿಟಿವ್ ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸು ತುಂಬ ಜನಕ್ಕೆ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ವೆದರ್ ಐ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಪಿ ಜಿ ಸಿ ಇ ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಗೇಟ್ ಸೊ ನಾನು ಏನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನನಗೆ ಗೇಟ್ ಸುಟೇಬಲ್ನ ಅಥವಾ ಪಿ ಜಿ ಸಿ ಟಿ ಸುಟೇಬಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಯಾವುದು ನನಗೆ ಸುಟೇಬಲ್ಲು ಸೊ ಯಾವುದನ್ನು ನಾನು ಚೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಯು ಓನ್ಲಿ ಡಿಸೈಡ್ ವೆದರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಂಟು ಚೂಸ್ ಗೇಟ್ ಆರ್ ಪಿ ಜಿ ಸಿ ಟಿ ಆಯಿತಾ ಸೊ ಆ ಎಲ್ಲದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಾನು ನಿಮಗೆ ಮಾಹಿತಿಯನ್ನು ಕೊಡ್ತೀನಿ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಓಕೆ ದ ಗೇಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಇಸ್ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ whereas pgct examination level is state means your gate examination is a national level examination whereas your pgct is a state level examination okay the next second one is if you go for mode of examination mode of examination your gate examination will be online that to cbt a computer based test whereas your pct examination is offline pen and paper okay that is the second difference between your gate and pct next if you go for the third difference that is negative marking negative marking okay for the gate examination there will be a negative marking but for the pgct okay there is no negative marking in the examination means both pgct and gate examination will be conducted for 100 marks only but in the gate examination there will be a negative marking for the wrong answers whereas for pgct there is no negative marking for the wrong answers okay nalakne difference nodadadre rank announcement okay in gate the rank will be announced paper wise the gate examination will be conducted for 29 papers then they are going to announce the ranks each paper wise okay they are going to announce the rank paper wise but for pgct the rank will be announced based on the type a and type b examination okay the type a is examination conducted for me mtech and mrch whereas type b examination is conducted for mba and mca aitha so in the pgct examination alli branch wise announce madalla ಲೈಕ್ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ಗೆ ಬೇರೆ ರ್ಯಾಂಕು ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ಗೆ ಬೇರೆ ರ್ಯಾಂಕು ಆ ರೀತಿ ಅನೌನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಗೇಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಆ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಆ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ಸ್ಗೂ ಕೂಡ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲಿ ಬ್ರಾಂಚ್ ವೈಸ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕನ್ನ ಅನೌನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಓಕೆ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ಗೆ ಬೇರೆ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ಗೆ ಬೇರೆ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕಲ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ಗೆ ಬೇರೆ ರ್ಯಾಂಕನ್ನು ಅನೌನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಗೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಿ ಜಿ ಸಿ ಟಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ನೋಡೋದಾದರೆ ನೀವು enrollment to master degree enrollment to masters okay so masters ki enrollment aagbekadre namma gate examination alli they are going to consider gate score and in pgct they will going to consider pgct rank 
okay in the gate examinations the three parameters are very important number one the gate marks okay what is the marks out of 100 the second one is gate score what is the score out of 1000 and the next is AIR AIR means all India rank but for the master degree environment okay they are going to consider the gate score okay the score which is for 1000 aita enike gate score barutte enike 1000 ge adanna calculate martare yav rithi gate score na calculate madodu anta nan mumbaru dinagalalli adru bage nu kuda video martini aita see enrollment to masters okay through gate they will consider gate score through pgct they will consider pgct rank okay this is the fifth difference sixth difference nodadadre admission to masters admission to masters so through gate nodadadre so we can get admissions in national level institutes we can get admissions in national level institutes like iisc iit and nits okay indian institute of science indian institute of technologies and national institute of technologies okay we can get admissions in national level institutions through gate whereas through pgct we can get only admissions into the state level institutions that too in the state level institution also the topmost institutions will be preferred by the gate qualified students only so the people who are qualified the gate examinations and they may not get the seats in national level institutions like iisc iit and nits okay those people will prefer the topmost colleges in the state level okay then only once the gate qualifiers seat will be allotted in the state level colleges then only they are going to allot the okay seats for the pgct rank holders next seventh difference validity so validity node nama gate examination enide so that will be valid for 3 years it is valid for three years whereas the pgct it is valid for the respective year only it is valid for respective year means the only one year means if you qualified the gate 2023 okay you know that usually in the month of september they're going to call the application for the gate examination okay and in the month of january and February they are going to conduct the examination and in the month of March they are going to announce the results okay then if you qualify the gate 2023 then the result will be announced in March 2023 okay then your gate qualification is valid till 31st March 2026 your gate qualification is valid till 31st march 2026 means for the gate qualification the validity is three years is it clear whereas for pgct okay if you qualify the pgct in the respective year means if you qualify the pgct in 2022 okay you need to get the admission in 2022 itself okay the pgct qualification is valid for respective year only only one year is it clear suppose if you qualified the gate in 2023 and you may not be able to admit in 2023 itself okay we can admit to masters in 2024 as well as in 2025 because your gate qualification is valid for three years okay this is regarding the validity next difference not other job opportunities okay so if you qualify the gate examinations there will be a plenty of jobs will be offered for you people okay in the private sector as well as in PSUs public sector undertakings 
okay it's very important in the public sector and trackings okay they will recruit the candidates through gate examination only so you need to have the valid gate score to get into the uh, PSUs public sector undertakings usually the NTPC IOCL BPCL okay and NHAI ISRO there are about more than 200 public sector undertakings okay will recruit the candidates through gate examinations not only the PSUs several private sectors also they have recruit the candidates through gate examination but whereas for PGCT okay it's meant only for the masters for higher education okay through PGCT there is no job offers the next is okay ninth is very important okay through gate examination you may get okay enrollment in foreign universities also through gate examination you may get enrollment to master's degree in foreign universities also so the best university like is national university of singapore nus National University of Singapore NUS will prefer the gate qualified students from India for the master's program okay other than NUS several other universities also there okay they will prefer the gate qualified students from India okay for the master's degree admission this is one of the important features so the next difference is very important regarding scholarship okay the gate qualified students okay they will get a stipend of rupees 12400 per month for a maximum period of 24 months okay they will get the stipend of rupees 12400 per month okay whereas for pgct there is no such stipend from the mhrd but the people who are qualified the pct and they have admitted to the master's degree in the state level examinations they may apply the scholarship through ssp through ssp they can apply it is state level scholarship portal okay here there will be two types of scholarship programs in ssp the one is pre-metric another one is post metric okay pre metric is valid from from first standard to 10th standard whereas post metric is valid from 11th standard to till post doctoral till post doctoral from 11th standard to till post doctoral means pdf we're going to call as pdf after phd okay alli varugu kuda post metric valid agirutte but this SSP scholarship will be there, no? That is for only SC, ST and OBC candidates. SC, ST and other backward classes candidates like category 1, category 2 and category 3. Is it clear? But the GATE scholarship, it is irrespective of CATS. Irrespective of caste means whatever the students it may be in general merit category and whatever may be the category Whatever the people they have qualified the gate examinations and they may admitted the national level institutions or the state level institutions They will get the stipend of rupees 12,400 irrespective of caste Is it clear? So the next is very important what if the master degree students qualified gate examination so what will be the benefits of qualifying by the master degree students it is very important for the master degree students who have qualified the gate examination okay for them they may get the chance to enter PST in national level institutions like IASC NITs and IITs Is it clear? Okay, because in the IAC, NITs, and IITs, they will prefer the gate qualified students for the PhD, and there also they will get the stipend from MHRD. Okay, initially for the first two years, they will get about 25,000 per month, 
and after two years they will get about 28,000 per month okay for the maximum of five years so they will provide the stipend they will provide the stipend for the PST candidates is it clear in addition to that if there is no accommodation facilities in the respective IITs NITs or IASC so they will also provide housing rent annoyance they also provide housing rent allowance HRA in addition to this stipend they will also provide HRA if there is no hostel accommodation in the campus is it clear okay this is regarding the very important update regarding the okay the master degrees candidates who have qualified the gate examination and one more important thing is that okay what is the major difference between your gate and pgct okay through gate if you get uh, admissions in nits iits and iasc okay there will be a lifelong tag there will be a lifelong tag will be there the tag is called iitn nitn okay have done my masters i have done my phd in nit iit iasc like that there will be a lifetime tag will be there nitn and iitn like that okay but if you done your masters or phd through pgct in state level examinations okay there are through state level institutions okay there is no such tax there is no such tax okay this is regarding the okay the best comparative analysis regarding gate versus pgct okay now decide yourself which is better for you whether is a gate or pgct okay i'll suggest you people better to go for gate instead of pgct tumba janagala mind alli ondo confusion ide आयता ऐन अंदर सो गेट एक्साम क्वालिफ़ मे बरी मास्टर डिग्री अडमिशन आगबा आयता नम पी जी सी टी ता बरी मास्टर डिग्री मैं अडमिशन आगबा अंत इला सो इफ यू क्वालिफेड द गेट यू मे गेट अडमिशन टू मास्टर्स ऐस वेल आज पी एच डी इन टाप मोस्ट इंस्टिट्यूशन आलो यू मे गेट चांस टू एंटर मास्टर्स इन फारी यूनिवर्सिटी आलो इन अडिशन टू दैट यू मे गेट ए प्लेटी आफ जॉब आपर्चुनिटी इन प्राइवेट सेक्टर ऐस वेल आज पब्ली सेक्टर अंडरटेकिंग इफ यू हाव वेरी गुड स्कोर ओके एंड कीप इट इन मै दट if you want to have the tag iitn and nitn for the life long okay then your choice should be gate okay thank you thank you for watching